So um, this week we're going to start looking at the Bifrost graph. Um, it's the new thing in Maya for doing. It's basically they, they're moving all their sort of simulation workflow into this into the Bifrost graph. It's where you can do now combustion things and smoke and particles, cross simulations. Um, I think called MPM, which is a granular solver for doing things like snow and sand and mud. Um, it's also got a cool thing called strands, which are basically like fibers and lines, and you can sort of animate them um, and instance loads of them. They also have a new instancer, which is very powerful and quick. Um, so it's going to be a sort of big part of Maya uh, going forward. You can pretty much do anything in it. Um, we'll talk about that sort of later on, but once we get through all the sort of simulation stuff. But the um, it's I suppose one of the things to say about it is it's quite new and it's still a little bit rough around the edge. Not everything is sort of up and running properly um, and may seem a little bit difficult to use to begin with, but it's well worth investing the time because it's really powerful and will only get easier to use once they sort of keep developing it and bringing out new bits for it. And they release new versions of it all the time, so it's pretty good for in that sort of sense. Um, so where is it? It's kept here in Windows. Uh, I've got the Bifrost browser and the Bifrost graph editor. If you haven't got that there, just go to your plugin manager and just make sure that you've got all these loaded in the little Bifrost section. Um, so let's have a quick look at. So you get these two windows. One, this is the where this is the, like the workplace where you make all your sort of butt graphs, um, and we'll talk about that obviously in depth in a bit. Um, and you also have a browser. So this is loads of like template samples, examples, and things like that. Um, so you can see you can get started on different types of smoke, um, different types of fire. Explosions, missile hit, mega explosion, particles, uh, volumes, clouds, sand, snow, and cloth. Um, there's some user stuff that's mine, I think. Um, and th this Rebel Pack comes with some of the examples of things that are in the Rebel Pack. So you can use all that so if you wanted to get a good start start looking at stuff and working out how it works you can just open one of these up you can either open them as just graphs but some of them actually have example scenes so you could say open selected as an example scene and it will open it up and this is um, two sort of flaming torches so if you hit play you can see you get that and one of the great things about it with for flames and stuff is the viewport feedback is really good. It's pretty much, you know, it's a lower res version, but it's pretty much what you're going to see in a render, which is really good. Um, and if I now open the graph up for that, oops, no, that was the other one. So I've stopped that. We get this, which doesn't look too confusing, but it's can be quite confusing when you first get going. But we're going to go all through this this week. We're going to do sort of combustion this week, but we're going to do it with a little intro to the Bifrost graph. So that's basically it um, for the sort of general opening and closing of it, as it were. Um, next video I'm going to start going through the editor and sort of basics of that.